Alrighty, I know y'all miss me, but I got your boys with a banger today. So today, we're going to be talking about how to be a more comp guard. Now first off, here are the, packet, the size of packages that you should be using. You should 24-7, 100% of the time, either be using Pro 2 or Allen Iverson. Pro 2 is where it's the literally same thing as Curry. It's just I like Pro 2 more because for me, it's faster. And on top of that, you can do the front cross instead of just doing the one that like drags it below your legs. Um, but I personally, I use Allen Iverson all the time, but I'm just using Pro 2 for the purpose of the video. All right, so I'm gonna show y'all how to efficiently use both Pro 2 and Allen Iverson size of package. But since I already got on Pro 2, I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all. So look, with Pro 2, Pro 2 is more about left writing than anything. This is the thing that y'all that have brain dead centers complain about all the time. But so, this is the famous It's the thing that all the kids at your school call themselves dribble gods for doing. <laughs> so look, most be best moves to use with this size up is misdirection and misdirection behind the backs. So what I just did, that slide, some people call it curry ball slide, I call it a misdirection. That's my favorite move in the game right there. Just, it's a kill most of the time. So there's this one move that's been going around that Keith did against Dino in a wager and it was insane. So basically he did one behind the back and then he did a second one. Just killed Dino. It's like I've never seen anybody do it before. It's insane. All right, I'm not going to lie when recording. I kind of forgot how to tell y'all how to do the curry ball slide and how to do the double behind the back and the behind the back and the misdirection behind the back in general. So, this is how you do the curry ball slide. This one right here. It's either you can't the only bad part about it is that you can't control the animation you get sometimes it'll just do the one where it just drops the ball behind your back but sometimes it'll do the ball slide in certain in certain situations the one where it just drops the ball behind the back is better because it's shorter and it just lets you pull up right away the other version of it you just have to wait out the whole animation and it sucks but you can't control the animation but in any situation it's good either way but so the way you do the, I'm just going to call it misdirection because that's what it is. The way you do the misdirection is you just hold R2. Literally, don't even have to touch your left stick at all. Just only thing you got to hold is R2 and then between the legs to the off ball hand. So if it's in your right hand, you want to flick, hold R2 and flick down left like that. And if it's in your left hand, you want to hold R2 and flick down to the right like that that's all and then for the behind the back so to do a single behind the back you want to hold r2 and you want you know how to do a momentum you have to do it like where you have to hold r2 and you flick your right stick to the opposite ball hand and your left stick to the opposite corner so like how it's in my left hand right now you hold r2 and flick your right stick to the right and your left stick to the right corner like that well, you kind of do the same thing, but instead of it, your left stick going to the top corner, you want it to go towards like a uh, like um hash mark. So, oh my fault. Oh my gosh, I'm doing ball slide because I'm trying to slow it down. Oh no no no, my fault. <laughs> That's why I was doing it wrong instead of holding your uh, your L stick still goes to the corners But your right stick instead of going to the side it goes to the off ball hand So if it if the ball is in your right hand you hold R2 and your right stick is gonna go down left and your left stick is gonna go uh, top left So the way you do the double behind the back is that you hold you do the behind the back and then you let go of everything well you kind of it's kind of hard to understand like you know how it sometimes with the it's the same way as the momentum works where if you flick it too fast if if you just flick it it does that it just does a sham god so you kind of got to hold out the animation for a little bit longer 
just to get the full animation instead of just if you just flick it it gives you a sham god it's the same way it works with the behind the hat back you got to play let it play out for a second longer or if you don't it's just going to give you a sham so that's kind of how it works just let it play out for a little bit longer and it'll do it perfectly for you but uh just going to say it again hold r2 if the ball is in your left hand like it is now you hold r2 your right stick is going to go down right and your left stick is going to go top right so basically your right stick is going to go towards opposite ball hand uh half court and your left stick is going to go towards corner opposite ball hand corner my fault and if you don't let the animation play out for like half a second then it's just going to give you a regular sham gun so and it's best to do while moving if you want to do it while moving it's a little complex but you want to um so you want to start moving and then you let go of every it's the same way you do a peekaboo so as instead of going to do shoot a peekaboo why is it making me move towards half court what instead of going to shoot i'm just going to do it at midi instead of going to shoot a peekaboo you want to let go of everything so you want to let go of everything and then do it behind the back and you'll be good that's all it is but so best moves to do for dribbling with pro 2 size up package is misdirections misdirection behind the backs and uh crabs honestly so <clears throat> and best and the shooting techniques i'm about to show y'all are good for literally anything any size of package i mean but they're just so commonly used on pro 2 because pro 2 and curry is used in every single part of the stage bro so look so you're gonna want to have to learn three shooting techniques so there's gonna be one that i'm gonna show y'all real quick it's gonna be the off hezzy shot that's what i call it so the off hezzy shot just run to the side flick your stick to the side shoot off of a hezzy easiest shot to time it's so easy to time and I'm going to be rating these through like jump shot timing, uh, like on a speed scale, I guess you could say one through three, one being the fastest, three being the slowest. So, um, an off hezzy shot is a two on the scale for me. It's not fast. It's not slow. It's like a little bit slower than your regular jump shot timing, just because you're doing a dribble first. Okay. So then you have the quick stop right there that is a three on the speed scale this is why you don't really see anybody doing it except for when they're super wide open because it's like not really many people have time to shoot off of a quick stop but it's kind of just one of those things where it's like you don't feel comfortable peaking so you're like screw it i'm just going to shoot a quick stop just so i can set my feet real quick so then you have on a one on the speed scale which is shooting a peak that is so fast. That is the second fastest jump shot timing in the game. Number one is catch and shoots. I That's the main reason I just can't shoot catch and shoots, bro. Like, they are just too fast for me. I'm not going to lie. Clown me for it, whatever you want. But just, just catch and shoots are so fast. But so, I'm going to do a recap. So, off has he shot. Then you have quick stop. And then for last, you have peekaboos, which, oh yeah, I need to tell y'all how to do peeks. So what you want to do is a lot of people, like, I just realized why I had been doing so many peekaboos wrong for so long, because I would be so scared. I would, people tell you to do a peek, you have to let go of everything. So I would literally just hold my controller <laughs> by my palms and then just hold down square only and a lot of the time you just miss time your jump shot if you do that you can hold r2 you just can't be holding your l stick but the thing is that a lot of people don't get is that you have to let go of your l stick before you shoot a lot of people end up trying to let go of their l stick right as they go to hold square it has to be before no matter what it has to be before you will not shoot a peak. It's just going to end up like this if you shoot it as you let go. You're just going to get a fade every single time. But if you are if you actually remember to let go, you can shoot a peak, which is one of the deadliest things in the game. And it's like, if you, if you get your jump shot timing and you get your peaks down, you will be unguardable, bro. As long as you learn how to use screens efficiently, 
you will just get your just get your timings down bro that's one thing that that's another thing about being a comp guard shooting is more important than dribbling bro you gotta have you gotta have shooting iq to score in the first place you can't just expect your center to get you open with a big body just by going left, right, left, right, back and forth. That's why being a good guard is all about misdirection. You can't just do this in the stage and then just hope for a good screen animation just going back and forth and back and forth. You can't do it, bro. It's got You got to throw in some misdirections. You got to throw in... See, I'm over here dribbling like I'm on AI size up. You got to throw in something to confuse your defender. So that is how you use the Pro 2 size-up package. All right, now let's talk about my favorite size-up package, Allen Iverson. Allen Iverson's best moves for the size-up package. You you see this a lot in stage with on ISO, where what they'll do is it's called an AI step back. It's that right there. You run forward, let go of everything, and just you step back out of nowhere. It's a wide open shot most of the time. If they sagging off you a little bit, do that move and you'll get open most of the time. Like somebody sitting like free throw line trying to bait you into shooting. Well, next thing they know, they're at free throw line and you're all the way at half court right there. Boom, green. They can't do anything about it unless they jump. And most of the time, hands down, green up. Like, they going to jump at you, but that's that might be at most like a 20% contest and that's a big green. But so... So there's the AI step back that I just showed you. And then there's momentum between the legs. That's my favorite move. You can do so much off of it. You can do momentum between behind and like do more mo like that. I sometimes flick it way too fast. Like that right there. You can do that combo. That's one of my favorite combos. That's an easy kill if you're playing against a bad defender. Um, which is sometimes works against good defenders. But a lot of the time... The crab is good on it. It's probably the best size of package in the game, honestly, because it's like the most diverse. You get a good between the legs. It gets you a good start. The crab is good. Um, the step back is the best in the game. It's the same as Kobe step back. But it's just, it's all around such an amazing size of package. You can do everything with it. It's the last, the pro two and curry size of packages are more for people who are just like, a play shot on threes playing with an inside center it's more for those people because they are just all about getting they get the threes the center gets the slips that's how it works but for this size of package it's more for people playing with an outside center um that can finish really well like i use this size of package on my bp mainly because i it just gives you good enough space on iso or it lets you just get easy rim runs because of the way that between the legs gets you going at the rim so now off to gameplay to show you how to be a better guard so look so right here so like I said, it's all about misdirection. So I hit him with the misdirection. He gets hit into the screen. Now look, since he sees I'm on the left and he just got smacked into the screen, he's going to run back to the left thinking I'm still there. And then I'm wide open. Like I said, it's all about misdirection, bro. I'm going to play that one more time for y'all. So, so I hit a sham god. He runs into the screen because I hit the sham. I hit a misdirection to go back to the right because he thinks I'm still on the left. And then I get wide. Now, we're playing a post-lock lineup right here. Again, it's all about misdirection. Look. Get him stuck right there. Hit him with the crab. He doesn't know where to go. Look, he's, he's confused right here. Look, I hit a hezzy. So he stays on my right side. I hit, a, I hit a momentum to the left. He goes to the left. I go back to the right with the between the legs. Crab him with a misdirection. I'm not satisfied with that crab. I'm like, eh, I feel like it's too deep and he might get a better contest than I thought. So I run up, hit another crab. For some reason, I thought that was better shot. <laughs> but I green right there. Boom. Look, it's all about misdirection, bro. I'll show you all some more clips. All right, look, here's another example. Now, this is a while ago. Um, this is I was this was before I even learned how to peekaboo and half the stuff I know so this was a good minute ago So don't even say nothing, bro, but look so this I'm, I have a pure lock on me So I hit a between the legs he runs over to the left because that's where I just was 
Now he's caught on the screen. I hit a crab to make him think I'm going back to the left so he stays on that side and I run back That's for the open space. shot. That's drop. Drop, yeah, I knew it. I all right, here's my last one, and then I'm gonna go into stage tonight and get some clips for y'all using Pro 2 size of package. Ooh, it hurts saying that, but I'm gonna I'm gonna get some clips for y'all tonight, and then I'm gonna put it all into a video. It's gonna be in the same video. I'm just saying I gotta like record clips later, but that doesn't matter. So look, here's some more. So look, right here, uh, one of the moves I was showing y'all, one, one of my favorite strings, unless it was like a deleted clip, right here. Look, so momentum like, between behind. Momentum thinks I'm going to the That's left. Awesome. Hits another that between. Fries him. That was a green. kill. It's like it's all about misdirection, bro. If you're just gonna sit here and left right, don't even try and be a guard. Just hop on a center, bro. I'm telling you. All right, so this is where I was using the double behind the back right here. So look, so I I lagged right when I did it, but I still did it. So look. So behind the back right there, they're both going to the right because I just hit the behind the back and went to the left. Boom. Hit the bottom of the back. Went to the right. Can't hold me. Big greens.